Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to use a welcome screen or a splash screen before we'll actually enter into our main VI or the main application. So, as we can see, there are two front panels. One is for the splash of VI and another one is untitled one that will be our main VI. As you can see, there is a small code that will produce an array of 100 elements, randomly generated values in the front panel by that code in the main VI. So now what we'll do next is we'll go into the splash screen sub VI. Now we're going to make a welcome screen. So what we'll do is we'll type in welcome to random number generator okay that will be our welcome value you can modify as you want you can also make it full screen but for the sake of the demonstration we won't be doing that just a simple one so that will be our front panel for the sub vi or the splash screen uh, let's check over there so that will be the button when you have already seen you can press that and then you you can exit the splash screen that will be our OK. And now the next one is required is since it is a sub VI, will require the error in and error out controls and indicator, respectively. Now we'll, uh, we have to connect with the connector pane. Error clusters will go on to the bottom terminals. And after that, we'll go to the front panel, uh, to the block diagram, rather, and then we have to modify it according to our need. So in this case, what we'll do is, uh, it is a very simple code. We'll use a while loop, and this flash screen, or the, the splash screen, will be displayed as long as we do not press OK button. So to limit the uh, CPU usage will limit the speed of the loop to 100 milliseconds and that's it. This is the code for this splash screen. Now what we'll do is we'll drag the icon of the code into the main VI. So now we'll connect it over there. That will be the initial part before the final or main VI. Change that to tunnel mode to last. Now we already have the sub VI added into the main VI. So what we'll do is we have to make some changes in the sub VI front panel. So we'll change the dialog because we do not require anything, and we'll be checking that will be ticked to yes, show front panel when called, and close afterwards if originally closed. Okay, that will do it. And save the sub VI, and now if we'll run the Splash screen will be shown first of all, and when you press it, the main VI will execute. 